Did you know that ostriches, the world's largest birds, have made the Russian steppe their home? That's right, it's a bit of a head-scratcher, isn't it? When we think of ostriches, we often picture them in sun-soaked African savannas, not in the vast, frost-kissed landscapes of Russia. But here they are, strutting their stuff amidst the golden grasses and azure skies of the Russian steppe. Now you might be wondering, how on earth did ostriches end up in Russia? Well, it's not like they packed their bags one day and decided to migrate north. The story behind their arrival is a tale filled with intrigue, surprise, and a healthy dash of serendipity. It's a tale that reminds us of the incredible adaptability of life, and the unexpected twists and turns that nature often takes. So how did these African natives end up in the Russian steppe? The story is as fascinating as it is unexpected. The journey of ostriches to the Russian steppe is a testament to human curiosity and innovation. This tale harks back to the 90s when a group of adventurous farmers decided to introduce these African natives to the cold expanses of Russia. It was a bold agricultural experiment, bringing together two vastly different climates and ecosystems. The initial days were rough as you might expect. The ostriches were out of their element, grappling with the unfamiliar chill and a vastly different diet. But, as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. These resilient birds found ways to adapt, to survive and eventually to thrive in their new home. They traded the warm savannas for the frigid steppes, their feathered bodies proving surprisingly effective against the Russian cold. Over time these flightless wonders have established a thriving population, a testament to their adaptability and survival instincts. And so, these flightless birds made the Russian steppe their new home, but it wasn't without its challenges. Surviving in the Russian steppe required the ostriches to adapt in unique ways. The vast open grasslands of the steppe, characterized by its cold, harsh winters and hot, dry summers, presented a challenge that these flightless birds rose to meet with remarkable resilience. One of the most noticeable adaptations is their thicker plumage. This additional layer of feathers serves as an insulation against the biting cold of the steppe winters. It's like wearing an extra thick winter coat all the time. Moreover, ostriches have exhibited changes in their mating and eating habits. They've become more opportunistic feeders, capitalizing on the steppe's seasonal abundance of grasses, seeds, and insects. Their mating rituals have also evolved to ensure the greatest chances of survival for their offspring in this new environment. In essence, these magnificent birds have rewritten their own rulebook of survival, demonstrating a remarkable capacity to adapt and thrive. These adaptations not only ensured their survival but also led to their flourishing in the Russian steppe. Today, ostriches are a unique and cherished part of the Russian steppe. Their presence in this unexpected corner of the world is not just a wonderful quirk of nature, but has become a significant part of the local culture and economy. The ostrich population in Russia has been steadily increasing since their introduction, and they're now a common sight in the vast, open landscapes of the steppe. These flightless wonders have also become a boon to the local economy. Ostrich farming has gained traction, providing a valuable source of income for many families in the region. Beyond farming, ostriches have also sparked a mini-tourism boom, with curious visitors flocking to see these unique inhabitants of the steppe. Culturally, ostriches have been embraced by the local communities. They feature in local art, folklore, and even cuisine, adding a rich layer to the tapestry of Russian culture. From an agricultural experiment to thriving residents, ostriches have truly made the Russian steppe their home.